Hey lovies, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a review video on the Mrs. West collection. And I do know it's a little bit of a different background and it's a little bit minimalistic, but it is because I'm currently redoing my bathroom and our bedroom so everything is just a mess i'm finally getting my life together but i'm super super excited for this collection i honestly wanted to get the whole pr package but i was only able to pick up these items here and they are the highlighter blush and eyeshadow palette just because the lipstick set was also sold out but i did recently also purchase a lip liner and a lipstick from the kkw beauty um website because i wanted to try out her lipsticks and her beauty line in general so i figured why not incorporate everything into the video i just want to get through this video i haven't opened anything you guys and i've been so tempted to open it but and try it on but i've been holding off because i want you guys to know my honest review and see my full expression and not just be like oh yeah i love this or I don't like that like no I want you guys to see everything 100% but so far the packaging itself it is beautiful I love that she incorporated her photos from her wedding it's gorgeous like honestly it's super super beautiful and I also wanted it just to add for a little bit of hint into my makeup station or you know collectors items put it around the room or somewhere um but yeah so let's get right into it because i can go on and ramble four hours but i did do my base off of camera already um so i do need to do my eyes and my blush and highlight i did bronze because she didn't come out with the bronzer but i think her makeup brand already has a bronzer i just haven't picked up a couple of things i haven't picked up anything actually from her makeup company in general this is the first time i'm using anything from her company so i'm excited i'm excited to try everything out so let's jump right into it so i am going to up do the eyeshadow palette first and this is the kk beauty eyeshadow palette in mrs west if you want to look up any of the ingredients in her products just go to her website and this here is the palette just in general it's a beautiful ivory color it's not like her typical nude color because this is normally her packaging color which is the color nude and this is more of a ivory and i love and live for it and it says on the packaging kkw in a glossy form it does come with a mirror and i love that and it also comes with six basic eyeshadows which i also love she didn't incorporate any type of like ivory to set the eye but that's okay because i typically normally i go in with my translucent powder anyways because all i put on my eyes is leftover concealer from my beauty blender when i'm doing my makeup but other than that it's just it's so beautiful and it does have the shade names in the back that is one of the only things that i wish they would have put the shade names in the front i hate hate having to go to the back to see what shade is what because i get confused all the time so if i you know get confused with the shades i'm sorry but i'm trying to do my best here so i'm gonna go in with the shade here called enchant in inched in stone so let's get that oh i love that when you put the brush into the eyeshadow a lot there's no kickback so i really really love that i always dust off the excess powder this here is an etched etched in stone i'm just gonna call it in stone because i don't know how to pronounce the other word and this shade here you can definitely get away with setting your whole eyelid space it looks a little bit more pinky in the pan but you can get away with setting the whole eyelid so that's what i'm gonna do so i'm just gonna bring this eyeshadow all the way to where kind of like where my brow bone is at 
and just chill, sit. As you guys can see, it does have kind of like a peachy, pinky tone. But that is okay because we can definitely work with that. The next shadow that I am going to be taking and just married. The eyeshadow, it, I don't know if it's just me, but it's turning a little pink on me. Which on the pan, it looks a little bit more on the burnt side instead of this here i don't really know what's going on but it looks like pink and on right now i grabbed a lot like i grabbed a lot of shadow and i'm not dusting off the excess for the sake of this video so i grabbed a lot of shadow right now and honestly it's not like you guys see that shadow there this is what it's giving me it's like a pinky color and i'm pressing into it pretty hard now to try to get more pigment it's not it's not that pigmented like you really you really gotta build this color up and now it looks like i have pink it looks like i have pink in my eyes like i got a pink eye like what okay so i'm gonna have to warm this up somehow the color that i have here and the color that i have on my eye does not go i don't know if the camera's picking that up take the shadow in may 24th i'm going to apply it just on the outer area and i'm using a stilazi brush in color blend kick back when i was trying to get the shadow so what's this wow hold on i'm gonna apply some translucent powder there's no pigment whatsoever in that shade <laughs> and i have to go out after this getting no pigment on my eyes like i i have to dig into that shadow it's so sad. I really was hoping that this eyeshadow palette was going to be one of my go-to eyeshadow palettes. But right now, from what it's looking like, mm -mm, look at look at the mess that I have. Just I'm trying to get a little bit of pigment going on here. So let's do the other eye. I literally dug... I dug my brush in so maybe you need to take off like a first the first layer I'm not too sure you take off the first layer look how that blended you guys freaking disgusting hold on So right now my eye is looking pretty bad in my opinion. With no product, I'm just going to go in and kind of smooth out the edges. Look at the mess I made. Look at that, you guys. That's horrible. I was going to put a little bit of eyeshadow primer, a little bit of concealer on my eyelid area. But I decided not to because I want you guys to see the full effect of these shimmer shadows. I'm going to take this shade in Please Marry Me. But I was watching the tutorial that she did with Mario. And she's like, it's called Please Marry Me. So I'm going to take that shade in my eyelid area and just apply it with a flat brush and you guys should see the mess that it just it did mm. look at how I applied the shimmer it's pretty chunky oh 
and it's falling all over my face. It looks pretty chunky. Um, it's literally crumbling and falling all over my cheek. So I'm so happy that I put that um that setting powder. I just I had to zoom you guys in so you guys could see how horrible this is. I'm gonna take back this brush here that I used with the shade May 24th with no extra product and just kind of blend the two shades together. And I hate when shades do that when they blend together but then the shimmer goes on top of the matte so i'm gonna go in with a little bit more of may 24th just to cover of that shimmer look at all of the fallout on my face it's horrible take the shadow in may 24th So I'm just blending out with a pencil brush and as you guys can see I have a lot a lot of fallout it's ridiculous of how much fallout I have I have no issue with any other palette with the fallout being this bad so I'm just going to apply my eyelashes off of camera and dust all of this fallout off of my face and I'll be right back i went ahead and popped on my lashes the lashes that i'm currently wearing are from hold up from lash label in the style wildfire i forgot how much i loved these lashes or love these lashes so i used them yesterday and i was like oh my god i want to use them again today they're so beautiful but those are the lashes that i am currently wearing today i'm just waiting for them to fully dry because you know i was being impatient but let's continue with the products so the next product is the blush and this is the packaging look how beautiful that is and again it has the same oh no it doesn't and for the color it is the same color it's a ivory color but the packaging is frosted so instead of it being very reflective and sh how do you call it like acrylic ish it is a frosted acrylic instead and it's super super beautiful i live for it and again the name of the blush is called flower wall and it is 0 0.12 ounces oh how cute and it comes with the mirror which i love and this is the shade here look how beautiful that is such such a beautiful blush color so hopefully i like it let's dip into it i'm using a morphe m405 um brush for blush okay hold on do you guys see a difference or is it just me that I don't, I don't really see. Oh, hey there. Okay. So I have to really, oh, I have to really pack it on for me to see it. Okay. I don't know if it's meant to be more of a you can't see it blush but <laughs> I literally can't see it like I could barely see the smallest little little amount here and I dipped in it pretty often okay alrighty like if I'm just gonna show a tint of blush might as well not put blush at all like that's just me like no like what 
this at least this should have been like the first application but it's it's pretty bad so next i am going to try the highlighter again the packaging is so beautiful and too bad that it's only the packaging for the boxes and not the actual product but it does have the same packaging as the blush so a frosted acrylic with kkw i do wish that they would have put kkw mrs west so we know that it's part of that collection and the highlighter it is called forever and it is 0.14 ounces it does come with the mirror as well and that is the highlighter it looks like a champagne gold but with a little bit more gold than champagne hopefully the highlight it's Pretty. I mean it is picking up a lot of product so we shall see oh my god the highlight is everything and I barely dipped my brush in it it is more on again the golden side oh my god so beautiful oh i think i applied a little bit too much highlight but i wanted you guys to see it it's so pretty i was gonna blend it out a little bit because I did apply more than usual. So now for lips. So for lips, I wasn't able to pick up her lip set that she had on sale because it completely sold out. And again, the PR kit or PR box sold out as well. So that was also included in there. You could buy them individually, but the lipstick, no, the lip liner was sold out. So I figured, why do I want to buy the lipstick if it's not really my shade? But I wanted to do this video for you guys. So I had already previously, recently placed an order for a separate lip liner and lipstick. So I'm just going to use those in this video. So this here is the KKW Lip Liner in Nude 1.5. I'm just going to line my lips with this shade. So far, I love how they feel. They do feel like the Kylie Cosmetic ones, as well as the ColourPop. And ColourPop has some pretty bomb lip liners. And Kylie, I love Kylie's lip liners. So you know this is going to be one of my go-to staple lip liners for sure. the lipstick itself and i got the lipstick in 2.5 nude and i do love the packaging i love the acrylic of it that you can see that it's nude inside it does look more on the orangey tone side so i'm pretty sure this lipstick is gonna look pretty orange on me instead of brownish but let's pop this baby on it's super pigmented And as you can see, it does look orangey. Just grabbing the lip liner to kind of just blend everything together. It also comes with an eyeshadow called Mrs. West, which is this shadow here. Pop it into the inner corner just because I want to see how it performs. It does look pretty blingy, but I don't know what's up with these shadows, you guys. Like, what these shadows are doing on my eyes, I have no problem with any other brand doing that. Like, they look so chalky, and I hate it because I paid my, my own money for this collection. And it's so sad because I honestly thought that this... That's going to be my go-to. But anyways, now this is the final makeup look.
So now I'm going to let you know exactly my thoughts on these products. First one is the one that I was mostly excited for and it was the eyeshadow palette. Six eyeshadows here. They look so beautiful. I love the packaging. I love the nude color that it has. I love the shades that she chose for this palette when you look at it in the pan. Now applying it to my eye. This shade here first of all wasn't pigmented enough so i had to keep on going in there a couple of times once it became pigmented enough it looked pretty pink on my eyes it looked pink you guys i was like shook i was like what the hell is going on with my makeup because it looks my eyeshadow looks pink no eyeshadows ever do that to me change color not gonna happen normally whatever shade it is on the pan that is the shade that goes on my lid it doesn't switch up on me the bat didn't like that at all shade in may 24th and that is the shade that i have in my outer corner to deepen up this makeup it was horrible there was no pigmentation i had to beat up the eyeshadow pan literally to get pigment and i was just not for it i didn't like it at all i hate struggling with any eyeshadow um i like my eyeshadows to be very you know straight to the point dip the brush in there tap off the axis and still get a bunch of pigment that was not the case with this palette at all now for the shimmer shades the shimmer shades are very very beautiful in the pan they look gorgeous but on the eye they literally flaked off like thank god i put translucent powder but literally were flaking off of my eye they look kinky they don't even look so beautiful and i didn't put any fix plus i didn't put any concealer or eyeshadow base um to cut the crease or anything because i wanted you guys to see the eyeshadows in full effect i mean that is why we purchase these products because i mean we want to use them in their full capacity definitely a horrible product i hate it um will i be using this eyeshadow palette probably not it's gonna sit in my vanity and not do shit for me so definitely don't like the eyeshadow palette itself now moving on to the blush for the blush it is i love the packaging of it i do like i said wish that they would have put some sort of mrs west on the packaging itself so we would know that it is from that collection because it doesn't even have it on the sticker in the back so that's pretty eh, annoying the blush itself i love the packaging i love that it comes with the mirror i love the blush color but as you guys can see in the video no blush was going on to my face i could see a little tiny bit of blush right here but nothing major like i was trying to <laughs> just put my brush in there as hard as i could to get some pigmentation nothing was transferring to my face i don't know what the hell was going on i thought it was maybe the brush that i was using so i went ahead and i used another brush that i typically use for blush and the same thing was happening so definitely not worth your money either for the highlight itself it is the same packaging as the blush and it is in the name forever i honestly love 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 the highlight it's super super beautiful the only thing if you are a lighter skin tone than me um this will look super gold on you if you are deeper than me like a deeper richer skin tone beautiful this highlight would look gorgeous on you guys um but anything lighter than my skin tone it would look very very gold on you so it's super super beautiful i loved it i loved the pigment that it gave look how beautiful that is that is what i was looking forward to in the whole collection and the whole collection didn't give it to me it's so so upsetting that the only thing that i loved from this collection was the highlighter because she took my coin you guys it was not cheap buying all of these products and for me not to love all of them but then again i mean what do you expect sometimes you love products and sometimes you don't but in this particular case they could have done better because 
the products are trash except for the highlighter. It's very creamy. It's a very beautiful formula. For the lipstick, I loved it. Even though it does look a little bit more orange on my skin tone, again, it is in 2.5. Very beautiful, very pigmented, super creamy. Look at that. Like, it's so creamy, you guys. I'm definitely going to pick up more of her lipsticks because they're so, so beautiful. I loved it. So, overall, this collection was pretty bad. It was horrible. But I did really love the highlighter and the lipstick in 2.5. But that is pretty much it. What I probably buy from her, I don't know maybe to do reviews i don't even know if they have a return policy but it sucks because i really really love the box packaging i think the box packaging is super beautiful <sighs> it just it sucks like it really does suck that the eyeshadow i was so excited for it you guys and I'm so, I'm so let down right now. Like, I'm so bummed. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you guys want to see more reviews on products, let me know which ones down below in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.